What's up? This is producer Ben Ford, and you click this video to learn about Reason Templates. Let's get to it. Ben Ford ain't got a time. Creating music with a consistent sound is very important. Um, starting from scratch is great, you know, blank slate, blah, 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 whatever. But starting with a canvas that's already made for you is way more important. See, you're gonna start creating and you're gonna start to notice that you use the same effects and plugins all the time. So why not create a beautiful template that will always give you a consistent sound and always give you the plugins that you know you're gonna need and know you're gonna use. Now, I have a lot of effects and I have a lot of pl plugins. Um, you may not have them, but I'm gonna show you my template and then we're gonna go through and make a template just using the reason effects. Once we do that, you'll be able to download it from the link below and go ahead and input it into your template. And I think this will get you started in a great direction. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up reason and I'm gonna show you my template. Uh, it should be loading up very soon. Come on, there we go. All right, so I have a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of plug-in heavy, and it's not really that heavy, but it just takes a while to load. All right, so in my in my template, I have uh, the H delay from, from Waves, and that goes to the Sin number one. And I have Valhalla Room Vintage Verb and Valhalla Room Regular Verb on uh, Sin number seven and eight. Now, additionally, I have the Master Bus that I built on my own, which is a Fab Filter, which is on, API 2500 stereo from Waze, which is bypassed, the Neutron, the Tonal Balance, and the Ozone 8. Additionally, inside of each of my main buses, which is my music and my vocal bus, I have a Saucy Filter from uh, Julia's Jaden, I have the Glitch, and I have Reactor 6FX from Native Instruments. So those are in mine, and they're all bypassed because I use them when I want to, but I have them there all the time. Now, if you look over here, we've got the uh, Redrum. I use it all the time, I like it. I can, you know, program different things from Redrum, which we'll do in later later things. And, you know, you use the CVs for that, and it, it, it it's great, it automates all kind of stuff. You can use it with the other stuff that Reason has already provided. Um, but I bounce all these out to their own track, because when I create stems, you wanna have a stem for the kick drum, a stem for the snare, and when you do it this way, you bring everything into music. So you have a two track at the end, or you have two buses at the end, music and a vocal, and you can even connect them. So say if I went and got these two and I had hi-hats on them, I'd say, okay, route two, new bus. And I'd say, okay, boom, hi-hat. And that goes directly back to the music. So we're going to create our own now. Let's get rid of this. All right, don't save. So we're going to go to file new template we're going to go to empty effects so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this delete now it's really cool reason already puts a mastering chain in here we're going to replace that replace this with a different one first i'm going to go here and we're going to go get four band limiter right there come on load up boom and then we're going to also, at the end of this, we're going to add the different things that they had on their on their mastering bus. So then we're going to go get we're going to go get the M class compressor. We'll put that at the end. We're going to go get the stereo imager. Put that right there, and then we're going to get the maximizer. Put it right here, and we're going to turn them off. Okay, and we can close this down. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to create two channels. So we're gonna go to create, you're gonna go to utility, mix channel. You grab it, hold option, down. First one we're gonna call vocals. Second one we're gonna call, I'm gonna call it beat. Most people call it beat. I call it music, but most people call it beat. Now, inside of here, we're going to put a few different things. We're going to, uh, we're gonna put, what I like to put on, on vocals a lot of times, I like this tape effect thing. It just it just does great things. We're gonna make that bypassed. We're going to put a compressor on here. I don't normally use these compressors, but I used to. Um, we're going to 
you know just use the m-class compressor again that's pretty good too that's that's real simple and it sounds good i'm gonna put that i'm gonna turn that off as well now we don't have to add an eq because you have this already you can go in here turn on your eq and do all the fun stuff you like to do but since this is a vocal channel we probably will put a high pass on there and just put it around here somewhere in there and we'll boost up this just a little right around there and drop this here all right so we'll leave that just like that boom now for your beat channel it's important to have a lot of different options and in order to not have to to go back and forward like i was talking about earlier you want to go ahead and put an alligator on there turn it off you know if that's a gate um and let's see what else we'll put we'll, we'll compress we'll, co we'll collapse these and then maybe we'll put some distortion on there just because when you when you mix the music and music and vocals you want to do something different to the music and if it's not your music then you might want to change it and if it is your music you're definitely going to want to change it and then we'll also go get and that kind of gives you that 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 crushed nasty flavor of the old amps and then we'll finally we're going to go get another m-class compressor and we'll throw that on there and we'll also turn them off okay so those are done. Let's change the colors. We got a beat and we got a vocal. Um, let's say, let's change the color to sky blue. Boom. I mean, that way you really can't see the difference. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add, what I like to add is the, the redrum. So I don't know, did I keep, did I copy and paste it? No, I did. Um, paste device turn. Oh, yes, it's already there. So I'm gonna tell you how to do this, but I already did it so we don't have to think. All right, so what we're gonna do I'm going to bring this into frame so you can see the rest of it. Boom. We're going to select all of them like they are. We're going to hit Route to Beat. Boom. This just created the beat as our master bus. Now, as you create different instruments, you know, say you created a Europa, you want to also make sure you send that to beat because it really comes in handy when you have vocal tracks coming in because the more vocal tracks you put in, if you put in, say, an audio track, uh, you're gonna wanna have control over all of the audio. So you would send those to vocals, okay? And ah, man, we gotta change this color. Uh, let's make it purple. Now you can see the difference, okay. So, let's get rid of Europa. Last couple things we need is some effects that we wanna use when we're creating. So, we're gonna go to the black area up here, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna say, create effect. And I want to add the echo. And that's gonna put it on our sin number one. Then I want to add uh, where the effects. There we go. Um, see, reason knows what I like to use. <laughs> uh, then we're also going to add a RV seven thousand. All right, so that puts uh, puts your your echo and your and your reverb right here on sins number one and number two. Now you might want to add different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these sins over to eight and nine this way you can add other sins before them and use those as well so you have a full setup of what you need to create great music and it'll be consistent and always like work in your favor this the limiter is going to work for you when you start adding kicks and stuff you'll start to see that it will not peak it'll start working right away and this is a four band lim limiter so you can actually go through and adjust them on your own uh, and we're going to save this as we're going to save it as reason i changed the name i didn't like the way that sound reason basic template we're going to save it there now once you've saved it, you're gonna go to Reason, Preferences, you're gonna go to General, and you're gonna go into here, and you're gonna go, boom. You're gonna open it up. It's gonna open it over here. Basic, Reason Basic Template. You're gonna click that. It's gonna load into there. And now, whenever you open it, and whenever you hit New, boom, always opens the same way new boom always opens the same way i'm happy we had a chance to go through this process and create this template 
It's gonna make your workflow faster, your music cleaner, and your overall sound much more consistent. Now, remember below, uh, there are some links and you can download these same templates that we went over today. And then keep going below and you'll see like the gear list that I use and other things like that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and until next week, we got it.